Welcome back, fight fans, to another video here on The Fight Game. For the first time in a long time, the heavyweight division in boxing is back. The heavyweight division is often considered the king of all divisions, because if you were the heavyweight champion, you were above all and everyone in the sport. When the heavyweights fought, you were sure to watch. In the last two decades, however, the heavyweight division seemed to fall into a sort of lull. But in recent years, it has quickly and surely climbed back to the pinnacle of glamorized prize fighting. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the entire heavyweight division and what we can expect in the coming years for the sport's most storied division. We're still not sure who the best heavyweight is yet. Could it be Joshua, Fury, Wilder, Ruiz, or will it be the dark horse Alexander Usyk coming onto the scene? We just don't know yet. But it sure as hell is going to be fun finding out, as the heavyweight division is now jam-packed with great fighters along with great fights to be made. But hold up. Before we talk about the now, let's take a look back in the past to see how it all began. The year is 2015 and Fury has just defeated Vladimir Klitschko to end his near 10-year reign. After Fury beat Klitschko, a new door was opened for the division, and the following month, a new up-and-coming prospect defeated Dillian White in a heavyweight pay-per-view fight in London. That prospect was of course no other than Anthony Joshua. In the space of just two months, the heavyweight belts had a new owner and Anthony Joshua had just scored an incredible knockout, which really got people talking about heavyweight boxing again. 4,000 miles west, we had another major heavyweight player accumulating knockouts one after another, Deontay Wilder. As time progressed over the next couple of years, Joshua and Wilder would continue their domination in their respective countries, with their star power rising as well as talks about a mega fight between the two. In this time, Tyson Fury would struggle with mental health problems. Fury would later overcome his differences and take the risk to take on Deontay Wilder on December 1st, 2018. While before this, Joshua would have a fight of the decade contender against Vladimir Klitschko in front of 90,000 people at Wembley Stadium. The build-up to Wilder Fury was spectacular, and the fight delivered the such-anticipated excitement. Fury would birth a pure, iconic moment by amazingly getting up off the canvas after being knocked down by Wilder. Many thought he took a page out of The Undertaker's book to rise from the ground when everyone was surely convinced he'd been knocked out. The fight ended in a draw, and while the decision was unsatisfactory, the fight surely was not. The boxing world was excited that now, more than ever, the heavyweight division was back in business, this time with three major players, Wilder, Fury, and Joshua. Just when we thought things were fairly straightforward, Joshua would suffer a shock defeat to Mexico's Andy Ruiz Jr. earlier this year in his American debut. As soon as the master plan seemed clear, the sport of boxing decided to complicate the story. The rematch is scheduled for December 7th of this year. Joshua will have a chance to redeem himself, although it is unfair for Joshua, as the public had such unrealistic expectations for his career. This is boxing. Boxers get beat. It's all part of the fight game. And just like that, in one night, we had a new player come onto the scene of elite heavyweight boxing. We will be making an in-depth analysis on this fight soon, so make sure you're subscribed and click the bell icon to be notified for our future uploads. A champion that can walk it like he talking. For me, I walk it just like I talk it, baby. Wilder's next fight will come against Luis Ortiz in a rematch on November 23rd on Fox Pay-Per-View. In their first bout, Wilder came very close to being stopped as Ortiz rallied in the mid-rounds. The fight ended in spectacular fashion for Wilder with a classical knockout. The rematch surely poses a risk for Wilder, but he's expected to win in the typical form of a knockout. Wilder is said to be focusing more on his boxing skills now. And if his last fight is any indication of the changes that has brought, it's sure looking very dangerous for the other champions who may cross paths with him. Deontay Wilder is up there with some of the most powerful punchers in boxing history. Any boxer who enters the ring against Wilder is taking a very big risk. 
Fury Wilder 2 is expected to take place early next year, and while Fury waits for Wilder to finish up business against Ortiz, he's decided to take a road trip to the WWE to take on Braun Strowman. One man who is open to the risk of also facing Deontay Wilder is actually a newcomer onto the scene, Alexander Usyk. He said he is open to facing Wilder eventually, which could be a fantastic fight for any sports fan to watch. Usyk could very well be a dark horse when it comes to the heavyweight division. Usyk was the undisputed cruiserweight champion, but vacated his titles in early 2019 to move up to heavyweight in pursuit of the mega fights against the likes of Joshua, Fury, and Wilder. Superstar. I Superstar. No. Superstar. No, no, no. Megastar. Usyk may not have the one-punch power for heavyweight, but his footwork, head movement, and angles are some of the best. He boxes similarly to Lomachenko in the sense that he breaks down his opponents throughout the course of the fight. This is one of Usyk's main advantages over all the others. He can chip away at his opponents until they finally crumble, especially with his great body shots. The charismatic Ukrainian has an extensive amateur pedigree, giving him the little bit of an extra edge when it comes to his fellow opponents who are lesser skilled. Usyk is Ukraine's first ever undisputed champion. For those who don't know what undisputed means, it means that a boxer holds all of the major world title belts simultaneously. Usyk won all four belts last year by winning the World Boxing Super Series, but one question not many have considered is could he become a two-weight undisputed champion. There is not many of those in boxing history. I tried to do some research to find other names who won all major world titles in two-weight divisions. The only name I ever found was Evander Holyfield, who became undisputed champion at both cruiserweight in 1988 and heavyweight in 1999. But at cruiserweight, he only won three belts, as the first WBO cruiser belt didn't come until one year later in 1989. That means if Usyk becomes undisputed champion at heavyweight, he will become the first ever boxer to hold four of the major world title belts simultaneously in two weight divisions. Each of the top boxers in the heavyweight division have very contrasting styles, which really makes choosing the best very difficult. But it also means that every matchup is intriguing to watch. Wilder is undoubtedly the one with the power. Fury is the one with the skills. Joshua is the one with a bit of both. Ruiz is the one with the speed. And Usyk is the one with a fundamental and perfected boxing technicality. Because of this, we look to the old saying of styles make fights. This saying means that if Wilder beat Joshua and Fury beat Wilder, it doesn't mean that Fury would beat Joshua. It really depends on how the two styles mix in the ring. As for boxers taking losses, who cares if one of them loses? Ever since Mayweather made such a big deal about being undefeated, he's brought an unpleasant stigma about taking a loss in boxing. Which isn't right, because every boxer takes a loss. Pacquiao has seven losses, Mike Tyson has six, Ali has five. So why should we care so much if a boxer takes one, two, or even more losses? What we want to see is great fights. I think it's fair to say most fans would choose great fights over undefeated records any day. Ideally, if each and every top heavyweight fought one another, it's quite unlikely that they would all go undefeated. But that's not what matters. What matters is the legacy, fighting the best. That's what the fans want to see. And it does seem to be the direction boxing is heading in as we move on from the Floyd Mayweather era into a new and better one. The question comes, who will become the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world? There must be one and there will be one, but which one will it be? Will it be Joshua to avenge his loss in December? Will it be Fury or Wilder? Maybe Andy Ruiz? Perhaps Usyk who has sneaked his way up the ranks? Or might it be some of the lesser known prospects such as Daniel Dubois? Will it be Dillian White or Joseph Parker who are in constant desire for a second chance at a world title fight? Could it be a wild card we are yet to hear of? It's almost impossible to tell. But as you can see, the heavyweight division is stacked. The possibilities are endless. Who knows what the future holds for the heavyweight division? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like to help us grow the channel. We'll see you in the next video here 
on the fight game.